Hey guys, it's Gameface and welcome back to episode 2 of my Dortmund career mode. Now today's episode, we are going to be continuing on with the Sword and Transfer window, hopefully getting into the first league game of the season as well in today's episode, and maybe even playing the second, and maybe even finishing the Summer Transfer window. Um, so it could be an interesting episode this one, we're hopefully going to try and bring in one or two more players, um, maybe sell one or two more players, it's not going to be loads and loads of changes to be honest in this first window, maybe not even the second window, I do like to keep the team quite realistic and similar to what it already is, uh, to be honest, in the first season, though you can build on it in the second season a little bit more so that's what we're going to try to be doing uh, in today's episode we're going to be also uh, taking a look at trying to bring a new striker as well so that's probably going to be the only one of maybe two players that could come in in today's episode before we get into things i just want to say thank you all so much for the support on the first episode of this career mode it's absolutely incredible you absolutely smashed it so thank you all so much for that if we could try and hit 100 likes on today's episode then i'd really appreciate that too please go ahead hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already and that'll be incredible i think we hit uh, currently i think we're on over 200 likes on the last episode so absolutely smashed it doubled the target that I set um, and ho so hopefully we can again try and uh, surpass 100 likes on today's episode as well. Uh, let's crack on though with today's episode and uh, we are going to take a look at the shortlist but first of all we are going to set uh, another scout going because uh, obviously you guys left your suggestions and comments and stuff and I read and replied to all of them and um, we are going to now set up another scout because there was a couple of suggestions in there which I quite liked um, but one guy in particular said that um, Sort of Dortmund have a quite a history of having a lot of um, players from Switzerland, and so we are going to try and bring in uh, some players from Switzerland and uh, hopefully try and bring in some youngsters through the, the squad and into the first team. So we are going to basically go duration, nine months, uh, and the type of player is going to be any as, as well, so we can get a whole range of different players there. We've still obviously got Poland and Germany, and um, we've got scouts there. We'll hopefully bring back some good youngsters over the next few months. And then onto the shortlist as well. I've been taking a look at strikers in particular. Um, obviously, there was uh, one in particular suggestion was Dolberg uh, in the comments section of the last episode. My only slight issue with Dolberg is that maybe he's not quick enough. I want I wanted someone that's a little bit faster, I think, to come and, and play as our striker. Um, really what I'm after is a, a striker that's not going to take Batshuayi's place. I want Batshuayi to be the number one in this first season. I want to be the number one striker um, because he is in real life. We want to try and make the first season at least, if not going on to the second and third season, realistic. So um, I don't want someone that's going to replace him in the team. So I want someone that's going to compete with him and be sort of in and out of the team a little bit. And I also want somebody that's not going to um, reduce uh, Isaac. Is it Isaac? I think I so pronounce his name, uh, the youngster, his chances in the squad as well. He's 17 years old, he needs a little bit of game time where we can give it to him, and so I don't want someone that's going to completely prevent that from happening as well. And that's the only issue with Dolberg, he might end up doing that, uh, and also he's not particularly fast. We do have scouts uh, being sent out to watch the players, and we'll find out, I think, in about five, six days' time on most of these guys. Obviously, got other strikers that I've listed as well. Rodrigo, I quite like the look off a little bit of a faster player, certainly someone that's um, more sort of back Shwayi level, 80 overall, I think. Um, and he's got a release clause actually as well, so £36 million pounds probably more than what to spend, but certainly something to take into account. He can play loads of different positions on top of that as well, which is really helpful in this sort of team when you need players to be able to do that. Uh, as well as a guy from Nice um, called, is it Plea Play, something like that. Um, again, it looks another good player, a little bit of pace about him. These guys are not all outstanding strikers or anything like that. There were some big and bold suggestions in the comments section, but I want the players to be sort of second choice striker that I'm looking for here behind Bashwai. Uh, Paul Chu is the final guy as well, he's from uh, Girona and another good option for us potentially as well uh, none of these are from the German League um, I couldn't find anybody I liked from the German League and so I decided to go outside of that into other places in Europe and pretty happy with the selection I've got here but like I say I'm going to wait a few more days to find out exactly what overall they are. Unfortunately it was a good suggestion to sign this right back but it's actually been taken by PSV in the first month um, of the transfer window so we can't sign him, I'll have to wait until January to make any sort of bid. Transfer offer in here for the youngster that we're trying to get rid of um, it's again the same sort of amount that we're getting every single time. We keep on accepting and nothing keeps happening, so we'll just continue to accept him. If not, then we'll release him. Transfer offer in here for Schmelzer from Villarreal, £13 million. Um, obviously, no one else has been transfer listed other than the guy that we keep receiving bids for. Um, but Schmelzer bid it received here for him, £13 million, 29 years old. He can play uh, left back, left mid, and centre back. He's also one of the players that's been at Dortmund, I think, a little while now. Um, I'm reluctant to go ahead and, and immediately try and sell him though. We don't really need the cash and we can always sell him in January if you guys think I should get rid of him, but for now we're going to reject the offer 
um, yeah, not particularly interested. Okay, here we go. Some scout reports coming back for the strikers now. Uh, Portu's the first guy, um, 25 years old, obviously, as well. You can see his stats there look really, really good. Um, pretty impressive stuff, actually. 11.5 million pounds. Rodrigo got away two days on. Dolberg comes back as 76 overall, so a little bit less, and he's also not quite as quick as well. Um, and I think Isaac kind of covers uh, covers us a little bit in the height sort of department, with obviously being six foot three. And so someone that's six foot two is probably not necessary really. But that's that's kind of my only sort of thoughts on that really. But I know I appreciate obviously it has been linked to Dortmund in real life, um, but I just don't know if he really fits the sort of player I'm after. And obviously there's the other the right back as well suggested. Not actually very fast, which is maybe a bit worrying. Transfer talks break down yet again, so yeah, it seems like that's not really gonna happen. We've got the final scout reports back, and I think on everyone else now. So Rodrigo comes back as 80 overall, as we suspected. Pace wise very good yet again, good stats, and he's left footed as well, which I think would be quite useful to have a left footed striker. Something a little bit different going forward. He's six foot, so he's a good height as well as being fast. Um, I think he's looking like the, the more likely option. Maybe it seems a little bit of a different and a bit of a strange one for Dortmund, but I just think he fits what we're after really well, competing with Batshuayi up front. Um, so I think he could be a really good option. We've also got Pili, I think he's called, something like that. Uh, again, another fairly fast player. Stamina-wise, pretty decent as well, um, but doesn't look quite as incredible as some of the other strikers we've looked at. I'm going to go with my gut on this, so I'm going to say Rodrigo is the player we're going to try and sign. Dolberg will be taking a look at, I think, in January, and we'll see whether he does suit us going forward, um, because that could be one that maybe we need to look at. And maybe Dolberg comes in and he's like, gets sent out alone or something in January. That could be an option for us, but I think for now, uh, Rodrigo looks, for me, the best option, and the option that we need as well. Someone that's got really good pace and a good finishing ability, so we don't really want to be messing around for too long, so we're just going to go a £22 million bid. He's supposedly worth between 19 and I think as much as 27 I think they said, but we'll submit the offer there and hopefully we get this one sorted near enough for the first offer. I think that's a fair offer, we're happy to agree with the terms, that's good, we can move straight on to the wage. We'll offer him an important first team player, I think that's fair as well, hopefully he agrees to that, and we'll then go for your contract by the looks of it as well. Keeps him here until he's 30, and finally, disregard the release clause, please, yes, and a wage of 53 grand. Okay, um, 20 goals, I don't think he's going to have 20 goals for us. I think what we'll just essentially do is counter, and just edit his wage and put it down to 50, and then we'll just agree to everything else, just so we don't spend too much time doing this. So bit the offer, and he's increased his wage back up to 53. I'll put his goal bonus down to 2 million then. Got to get something over him, come on. There we go, that's more like it. 53 grand a week he signs for, and a £2 million 20 goal bonus thing. Yeah, I don't think he's really going to get 20 goals uh, as our second striker, but you never know. Uh, if not this season, maybe another time. But yeah, it's a really good signing for us, very happy about that one. He now joins us, and uh, it becomes our second striker, really, behind Bashwai. Okay, this isn't good. We said about this last episode, where we've got a lot of good players with release clauses that aren't that high. It's happened again. PSG have come in and paid £44.4 million for Goetze. Now we have to try and uh, get him to sign a new contract. At the same time, we've got another bid in for a player that's trying to sell. Crew Alexander this time. Let's see what comes of that. But yeah, need to sort out the Goetze deal. Need to also offer out a lot of new contracts as well. Okay, so we'll give him a crucial first team pledge to make sure that he's definitely happy with that. And we'll continue on to try and get him a slightly higher wage as well in the squad. So four year contracts will extend that by an extra year basically. Hopefully he's okay with that. Yes, let's carry on. He wants a release cost still, but he wants a release cost to be just under £75 million. Pounds. Mm, I, I mean, you can never really get that to be changed, so we're not even going to bother negotiating. It's that or nothing, basically, so I'll have to accept it. Um, although it is still not quite as, not quite what I wanted. I wanted no release clause, really. I know it's a wage of 65 grand, so a slight increase, actually. I was prepared to go as high as 80, but happy with 65. Uh, goals bonus, which I don't think he'll achieve, and a signing on bonus. So yeah, we'll go ahead with that. I think it's a fairly good offer, actually, in the end. We'll accept it, and that's him on a new contract to prevent uh, PSG from signing him for 44 million. We've also got a few more players to offer contracts to. I'll go through them and basically just show you the final deals. I guess a new contract there for one of our younger right backs, uh, 40 grand a week, very happy with that, gets rid of his uh, release clause, which is good as well. Top right gets a new deal, 65 grand a week, no release clause yet again. No release clause for one of our younger centre backs as well. Taking off Weigel's release clause, fantastic again for us, that increases his wage, uh, gets on a five year contract as well, very happy about this one. I think I'll keep Kugawa's release clause on there, it's 39 million pounds for a 28 year old, that's not too bad really. Isaac gets a new contract with that release clause, I think his original was about 3 million pounds or something, so that gets rid of that yet again. Again, and that should be nearly everyone now. Sancho, another player, actually needs to be the final one. And there we go. He signs a new contract, 10 grand a week with no release clause. That's everyone sorted out now other than Kagawa, but fine to keep him as he is. 
Okay, so on to the first game of today's episode, and it's against Wolfsburg, a big match for us as well. It's also the first league game of the season. This is the team going to go with Berkey Stats in goal. Um, Toljan, I think, is the, the high pronounce the right back's name. Uh, so he comes into the side ahead of Piszczek. I was more impressed with him than Piszczek. Uh, Socrates plays centre back alongside top rank, Guerrero at left back. Goethe, Weigel, and Kagawa in midfield. It's now a 4 3 3 attack rather than defence or holding. Um, and so we've got two holder midfielders technically now, two centre mids. That's going to be Goethe and Weigel. Piotr comes in on the right hand side. You guys are all suggesting that. I think uh, it's probably the right option as well. Very fast on that right-hand side. Batshuayi up front, Royce on the left as well. This is the match I've gone with. Obviously, Sané we brought in in the last episode. Very happy with him to stay on there for us. Rodrigo comes on there as well. Uh, so, yeah, good few options for us here. Hopefully, um, we are going to be able to get ourselves a victory here. Okay, then here we go for this game against Wolfsburg. Let's find out how he gets on. Massive game, obviously, to open up the season for us here. And a great opportunity to really show uh, the other teams and ourselves, actually, what we can do and where we're going to be this season. So, looking forward to playing with this team. Obviously, a lot of players still to try and get used to. I've only actually played one game with them. Obviously, we beat Bayern in the last episode just about on penalties. So, um, yeah, we'll wait and see exactly what comes of this game. Weigel coming forward, a bit unusual, but Batshuayi holds it up here. Pulisic takes the touch. Oh, just drags it wide. So close. I really expect him to score that. It's a great chance for him. Opens up brilliantly in the end. It's slightly to the left of where I wanted it. Royce onto Batshuayi. Great chance for us here. Batshuayi still going, coming inside. Going to shoot. Oh, could have played it to Pulisic, but I thought I was getting past the defender there. In the end, he's just about recovers in time and puts a block in. Wasn't expecting him to do that. I thought I got past him. Ball through here to Kagawa. Great opportunity. He's got past the defence. Still going. Kagawa to shoot. Why are we dragging everything wide? What's going on? Same thing happened with uh, the Pulisic shot. Toljan running through here. Good chance to play to Batshuayi. And he scores. It's 1-0. No, he doesn't. He's not being given. Wait. He's not changed on the scoreboard. Is it definitely a goal? That's very strange. It's gone in, but for some reason the scoreboard hasn't changed. That's very, very strange. Not seen that before. It is 1 0. Batshuayi has definitely scored, but the score hasn't been changed. What's going Is this something that just happens in the Bundesliga, or is this a glitch? I've no idea. It's a fantastic run for the right back anyway. He makes his way into the box, cuts it back. Is it through the legs of the goalkeeper? It is in the end. Great finish for Batshuayi, who scores. It's 1 0. Are we going to see say 1 0 now? Is it? Yes, it has changed. <laughs> very strange. Not seen that before. Good response here from Wolfsburg. Ariki going for the shot and saved. It's half time winning the game 1 0. The first half seems to have gone very quickly for us, but it's good to be in front anyway. Uh, a strange batch for goal, but a really good goal actually. A great one for the right back here. It's looked really, really good going forward. Very fast, but also very tall as well, so he keeps winning things in the fullback position. So yeah, overall very impressive. Certainly deserves to be in front, but Wolfsburg are certainly having a couple of opportunities as well, so they do still look a threat. Into the front post maybe. Batshuayi's there, connects with it and scores, it's a second for Batshuayi, he does it again, and he's got himself another goal, and it's a really good little header actually at the front post for us, good corner delivered into the box, and a nice little position as well, Batshuayi just peels away from his man, and the Batman has scored yet again, it's a really, really good header, and he gets himself a second goal to double that lead. No, it isn't, it's being given as an own goal. Amongst all that, apparently Brooks has headed that in. Didn't see it. Didn't see it at all. But it's the second goal. That's the most important thing. First two changes, Rodrigo and Ahu to come on. We're going to take off Goetze and also Kagara as well. Royce will go play at centre attack in mid in behind Batshuayi. Rodrigo on the left-hand side, of course, as well. Um, Batshuayi could be the next player to come off. It might be Royce. Also reluctant to take players like, like Royce off, but he is getting a little bit tired. So we might that might be the case uh, in maybe 10 minutes' time or something. Royce getting in a great position to shoot here on his left foot. Save by the goalkeeper. Already causing a, a few issues for the defence there in that uh, middle position that he's playing in now. He's going to deliver the corner as well. Rodrigo's in there, connection on it, but saved by the goalkeeper. That's right over to Rodrigo, obviously got the fresh legs now. Running forward, Royce trying to get into the box if he can. Can he pick him out with the cross here into Royce? Oh, off the bar. And unfortunately couldn't get ourselves a third goal. Royce with a great run, good connection on that as well. Sadly though, couldn't quite find the back of the net. Oh, what a ball in. Had to be put out there for a corner. Great opportunity. I was worried I was going to put my own goal there, but going out for a corner now. We will make the final change. Royce to come off. Uh, and we are going to then bring on Andre Schurler. Yeah, I'll go with Schurler, put him on the right-hand side. Pillars should go play in the middle. And that's it. We've got ourselves a 2-0 victory. The first three points of the season as well, so very happy about that. Um, really impressed, actually, with the performance. Looks good going forward. Could have had a couple more goals, of course, as well. Um, but yeah, in the end, a really solid and uh, comfortable victory. Wolfsburg with only a few chances really in the whole game, so certainly deserves what, what we got. Okay, so after a victory there, we do move up to second place after the first game uh, of the season. So very impressed with that. But uh, yeah, still obviously plenty of games still to go in this season. Uh, by me, must have dropped points because they're nowhere to be seen. Transfer talks break down yet again, this time between Kuro Alexandra and the playoffs we're trying to get rid of. 
Yeah, I think it'll be a case we probably just release him at the end of the window if he hasn't gone. Loan off of Andre Schurler from Augsburg. No. <laughs> no chance. We'll reject that. Now I transfer offer in here for Durham. Um, this time it's from not Spartak Moscow, is it? £7 million, 7.3. Uh, again, going to reject it. No real interest in selling right now. Might in the future, might in January, but I think for now, I'm happy with the squad we've got. I think we've pretty much done all our, all our business now, other than that, just one player that's been transfer listed. Another loan offer this time for Philip, and uh, again, Augsburg coming in for another one of our players. Desperately looking for a winger by the looks of it. Again, going to reject it. On to the final game of today's episode against Hertha Berlin. Um, we've got this is the team we're going to go with. Only really one change. Nahu comes in and we've basically replaced um, Kagawa with the Hoon instead. We've moved Goetz a little bit further forward to play a centre attack in mid. Purely done that because he looked like a good player when he came off the bench. Looks like a really tiny player. Looks good on the ball. So we'll give him a chance alongside Weigel. Uh, everyone else is staying in their positions. No one else is being changed. And that's the match I've gone with. So hopefully enough to get ourselves a victory yet again. Let's try and make it two wins from two at the start of the season. Hertha Berlin won their first game of the season as well. So uh, I'm on three points as well. So if we are able to beat them, we'll go ahead of them. Okay, then here we go for this game against Hertha Berlin. Let's find out how we get on. Try and get ourselves a victory. And um, hopefully continue our good performances as well. Being pretty good. We're quite good against Bayern. Obviously we won our penalties eventually. Uh, having come back from 2-0 down. Uh, but we were very good in the last game as well. So hopefully we can do that again. Free kick opportunity here for Hertha Berlin. A good opportunity for them to try and get something on targets. And yeah, they don't manage it. Oh, it's a Royce. He's going to come onside. Onto his right foot. Oh, he scored. That's a brilliant finish. Fantastic finesse goal. And Marco Royce does it. He comes inside onto his right foot. And was always going to shoot from that sort of uh, range as well. He gets himself in a great position. Look at his little back heel as well. Comes inside and uh, that's the only thought I really had to be honest with shooting. We scored and we got ourselves in for a 1-0. Good way to get the opener there through Royce. Oh, it's a Royce yet again. Gets himself in a great position. This time to cross for back. Shwayi. Oh, that's fantastic for them those two. Really good combination of play. Fantastic for them from Royce. This time getting himself an assist. And Setio Bashwai headers again into the back of the net. Really good combination every single time looking throughout when we do this. And uh, it's a great delivery. And neither of the centre backs get anywhere near to Bashwai. Not don't get close enough anyway to challenge him. You see that guy goes for it, but he should be sandwiched a little bit better by the two of them. Doesn't happen, and Bashwai gets through and scores. It's uh, now 2-0 double our lead before half time. Good chance. Oh, I thought I'm gonna get him back there. Very close. Just goes over the bar, the finish wasn't there at all, but it's a good knockdown actually to him. Just couldn't keep it down. Ball at the top here, good chance, and pulled back. Great football, but he's offside. Luckily for us, that would have been a goal back for them, but uh, luckily the flag was raised, and still wins 2-0. Good little switch there, actually, to Pulisic, just before the break. Going to be able to bring this one down and try and pick out back Shwai. What a ball in. Oh, the header's not good at all. Expecting so much more from that. That's it for the first time. Still won the game 2-0. Very impressed with the first half performance. Great to get two goals. Now I'm going to try and build on it. Get a third and maybe even more in the second half as well. Uh, playing really good football. Attack looks strong. Got used to Batshuayi up front now as well. I think I was maybe trying to play the wrong sort of football with him um, in the first episode against Bayern. Uh, but now we can sort of do more hold-up play. Sort of introduce players into the game a little bit more. Dahoud getting forward to shoot. Oh, I thought it was going to be the third. That's a good save. Royce now looking to the lever. Good ball in. Weigel's in there, but punched away. As far as Pulisic, who's going to shoot himself. Oh, that's a great finish. It's 3-0. The youngster's done it inside three or four minutes in the second half. He's added a third to the scoreline. What a hit that is. Always the risk of going out of your goals to punch things. You then can't get yourself set up properly for any follow-up shots. And that's exactly what's happened here. Goes to the punch. He does well, actually. Gets a lot of distance on it. But then just can't get back in his goal quickly enough. To get in the right position and Pulisic just has a go through loads of bodies. It finds a way through. It's 3-0. What a hit this is. No stopping that. Well, I guess picked up a slight injury here. I think we will take him off as a precaution. Doesn't seem like it's going to be too bad, but it might be a couple of weeks that he's out for here. Uh, I think what we'll do is bring on Castro. He's not had a run about uh, since I started the scrum mode, so we'll go with that. Uh, hopefully not too bad for Weigel. Final two changes, Yamalenko and Rodrigo both swan. We're going to take off Pulisic and Goetze. Rodrigo going to go and play at centre attack in mid. He can play in that position, so I think he should be fine there. About 20 minutes left of this game. Still looking for a fourth goal. Still could happen as well. Um, but yeah, we're just going to make those final two changes. Give Pulisic a bit of a rest. He's obviously done a lot of running for us. Ball through to Royce. 
a good chance here for Royce to shoot, and he scores, it's 4-0, and Royce has done it again, he gets himself another one, just on the counter-attack, they've obviously thrown a lot of players forward as we get into the latter stage of the game, and uh, we've obviously just seen uh, a situation where it's left sort of 2v1 a little bit, two of their defenders up against Royce, it was always going to be tough when uh, we start to get in front of them here, it's just uh, in the end ends up being 1v1 really, uh, as Royce just uses his strength and uh, power to get past him. Good finish on top of that, 4-0. I think that's how it'll finish, to be honest. Not too much longer left of this game. That's it, it finishes 4-0. Really good result for us. Very happy about that. Fantastic performance. Really good attacking display as well. Kept clean sheets. Uh, can't really ask for too much more as well. So, really impressed with that. Royce got himself, I think, two goals. And uh, Batshuayi obviously scoring, as well as Pulisic. So, really, really impressed with that. Hopefully, we can keep that going consistently throughout the season. Because uh, at the moment, it's okay. We don't really have that many fixtures to play. We've had plenty of time to rest and obviously recover the players. So, we can just play with this starting eleven. But when we start to get in multiple competitions, then it might become more tough. So we'll see anyway how he gets on. But for now, certainly doing very well. Uh, should put us near the top of the league. Maybe even top of that goal difference. Hopefully going to give uh, Sancho a go in maybe the next episode. Maybe one after that. So I've got to get, obviously give him some game time as well. But he is still trying to be trained up a little bit more uh, to be able to compete a bit better with those in the start 11. So for now, he will uh, just remain sort of in the reserves and he'll come into the team, um, I hope, soon. Uh, player injured, how bad to Weigl's injury, eight days, not too bad just to bruise leg, but I think worth still taking him off just in case. Um, we're approaching the end of the summer transfer window now, I'm not going to just end it yet because I am still curious to see your guys' uh, thoughts on the squad on, and suggestions on transfers and things. I'm pretty happy with it, I don't think I want to make any more changes. Maybe we have a look at fullbacks maybe in, in January or in the summer, but I think certainly for now I've got enough in this team to go ahead and uh, really challenge for the title. Uh, currently at the top of the league as well, Bayern Munich in sixth. Um, but yeah, we're leading the race at the moment, so that's good news, but we're only two games in, so lots can happen. That's everything for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If we could try and hit 100 likes, then I'd really appreciate it. Also, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already as well, and that'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.